Okay, we're in the epilogue uh, of the story, uh, and I'm mid-sentence. Uh, and if this sounds crazy, well, it, it fits with what this says. Uh, I said there's a sad note, and, and it's that the storyteller, the story, uh, no, the writer, was also inspired and decided, you see, with all these songs coming up with the unusual spellings and symbols and stuff, he thought, hey, he'd go for it and decided to transcribe Spike Jones' Hawaiian War Chant. Now, I put that in quotes because that's the name of a song, QV. Now, that, I, I stuck that in. Now, when you, do, when you stick something in like that, you use a carrot. I, I, I didn't do that on purpose, but as, go check. That's a way of saying, go check it out. There's enough. Uh, in, in received pronunciation, QV, well... <laughs> I don't know if you can understand what I'm doing here or not, but this struck me as so funny. Um, I, maybe I should say, yeah, in or into. I wasn't sure about that. Receive pronunciation. Uh, receive pronunciation is uh, the way to pronounce English among the British that is regarded as most proper. Uh, the way uh, well, there was a time where I suspect that if you were going to be received in polite society, well. You had to pronounce your English that way. I suppose that's why it's called received pronunciation. Well, Spike Jones War Chant. To understand this, you're going to have to go to that. Find it on, on YouTube. I think it was 1944. I didn't give the complete footnote. Because, for one thing, I gave it in the text. There's enough there that you can find that um, when you QV it. Uh, <laughs> the idea of, 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 of trying to write down the Hawaiian war chant. Something else I need to tell you too, something about the language Hawaiian. I don't know it at all, but it is reputed to be a language which has most, oh, there's the pump, has mostly vowels. Very few consonants, I'm sorry, that happened once before. Uh, very few consonants, mostly vowels. And in the pronunciation of English, British English, for example, um, the, the vowels are what are so hard to represent. Uh, and IPA symbols, once again I say QV, that's International Phonetic Alphabet Symbols, reputed to be able to represent any sound made in any language uh, by humans, and even other sounds as well, so it should be possible to do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> should be. The effort destroyed his eggshell fragile brain. Um, that's why it's sad. He lost his mind. And I'm sorry about the pump. It will stop soon. That's a bubble. Um, uh, eggshell fragile was a phrase that a friend of mine used with me uh, just recently. So uh, Michael Hernkane is his name. Eric, quit. Michael Hernkane is his name, and, and I should credit, document that source. He, he's a very, very clever writer. Uh, let me try this again. So he was inspired and decided to transcribe Spike Jones' Hawaiian war chant in received pronunciation with IPA symbols, or maybe into IPA symbols. The effort destroyed his eggshell fragile brain, so he lost his mind. Uh, uh, what we actually, and, and, and again, you probably can't begin to understand how funny this struck me this idea, unless you would go and, and, and hear Spike Jones' song. Uh, what we actually say is, zu, uh, I'm sorry, that's German, to trans, transcribe, to transcribe Spike Jones, uh, Jones, uh, Hawaiian, uh, boy, all kinds of stuff's coming. I got company here. No, I'm teaching, Chuck. Come on, sit down. Uh, Hawaiian, I, I don't even know how you spell that. Hawaiian war chant. Uh, your mom's upstairs. You want to go up and say hi to her? Uh, war chant in received. Or I could put you online. You come around here, you can go on online, and the whole world will see you. <laughs> what? 
the camera's right here, receives proof. You stick your face around there, you'll really go online. Pro, uh, pronunciation. This is my studio I'm teaching. Pro, pronunciation with IPA symbols. IPA symbols. Symbols. The effort, the effort, or I'll say the effort, the effort destroyed his eggshell, eggshell, fragile brain. <laughs> uh, Okay, that's what we actually say. Now, in German, I'm sorry this is so complicated today. In German, it would be like this. Uh, der, der Schriftsteller war auch begeistert, beghosted. Uh, I'm trying to teach you to love German and uh, be ghosted. That's so much cooler than saying inspired. Be ghosted. He, he was filled with a ghost. Und beschloss. Beschloss, beschloss, I think. Und beschloss. Um, zu schreiben, I didn't write this all in German. Spike Jones, Hawaiian war chant, and received pronunciation with IPA symbols. Zu schreiben, zu schreiben would go here. Der Aufwand uh, zerstörte, uh, zer means away, that, that prefix in German, so it, it disturbed it away, it destroyed it. Uh, der Aufwand zerstörte sein. Uh, Eierschalen, eggshell, zerbrechliches, away, there we have it again, away breakable, <laughs> uh, fragile, so, so much cooler than fragile, uh, gehirn, gehirn. Oh, this has been a wild, wild, uh, uh, oh, maybe it's fun for you, probably is, this is like reality TV. Um, der, 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 der Schriftsteller war auch begeistert und the Schloss, Spike Jones, Hawaiian war chant, in, ins, received pronunciation mit IPA symbols, zu schreiben. Der Aufwand zerstörte sein Eierschalen zerbrechliches Gehirn. Well, made it to the end. Uh, next time there's a happy note uh, in this epilogue, so that was the sad note. See you next time.